As we all know that making money on social media is now a new way of earning an income without any qualifications or experience. The world has changed today because anyone who has potential can be rich by being an influencer in the entire internet place. Well, in today's episode, we will break down all the facts with supporting evidence on how rich is Ghost Luby and Mac G this year. This includes their cars, houses, and businesses that they own so far, together with their latest net worths. Starting with Ghost Hluby, who was born in Newcastle, KwaZulu-Natal. He comes from a wealthy family since his father is financially stable. His life changed forever when he started his prank videos back in 2019 and became famous in late 2020 during the COVID-19 pandemic, where social media was booming up in the country. Today, Ghost Hluby is one of the biggest influencers on social media and has taken the internet to another level in South Africa. Plus, he makes money from these following social media platforms, YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok on his personal accounts. Well, for every year it's estimated that he makes roughly about 10 million rands in total with social media, and that's amazing. Many kids in South Africa were inspired by him to make money on social media, as he is the richest media personality in Africa today. The other businesses he owns is Sneaker Couture, which is a footwear business that specializes on selling sneakers online, similar to Shin Clothing website. Honestly, this was a smart idea because a lot of people are now moving to the online shopping, since it's safe and easy. It's not clear on how much he makes from his sneaker company per year, but we believe he makes significant amount of cash. Lastly, many people didn't know that Ghost Luby is also a forex trader, who has got knowledge from popular traders like Jason Noah and leadership the RCG gang. He took the opportunity by joining the stock markets, since he can make a lot of money besides social media. Let's not forget that he is also a part-time musician who made a couple of music and songs that most of his fans loved to listen to. Now I'm sure you're wondering how much he is worth right now. Well, Ghost Luby is currently worth a whooping $3 million this year, according to Buzz South Africa website. To be honest, this is a great achievement. Very few people can make it this far with social media and Forex. Now let's talk about his car collection. For those who didn't know, Ghost owns a BMW M4 competition that he bought last year after selling his other BMW 2 Series. In terms of pricing, this car is worth around 2 million rands, which is a bit tight for a drifting machine like that one. On other hand, he also owns a Range Rover SVR. That's one of the fastest SUV cars in the world. About the price of this car, it's worth a whooping 1.5 million rands, and that's way too affordable. All in all, those are the current two cars he has now, during this time of recording this video. The total cost of his car collection is 3.5 million rands, and that's not bad shame. The man was also seen posting a Ferrari 488 Spider on his Instagram page, and we are not sure whether it's stolen Ferrari or rented out car, because he's a pranker. Comment down below and tell me what you think about Ghost Hluby's lifestyle and investments that he made in his career. And it's just like, it won't be the same as how things are like fair, fair. now. Because everyone is just like busy with their own stuff. Mm, yeah. Right? So, like, let's say we're all just like doing YouTube together and it's cool. Like, someone might venture into podcasting. Yeah. For example, for you. So you can't like hang as much with us, no? Yeah. Someone might venture into entrepreneurship. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They can't like hang as much with us. Someone might get a job. So it's just, it was, it was the thing of like, you know, it was nice when we were all together. Mm. As I have, I don't feel any way towards any of the guys. Yeah. I mean, shout out King Omar, shout out Just Daddy G, you know what I'm saying? Shout out everyone, actually. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm it's all love. Yes. Shout out Mami Jess. Yeah. It's all love. Please, Please make sure to like this video and subscribe to Marshall TV channel for us to at least grow and reach 100,000 subscribers. Moving on to Mac G, the famous best podcaster in Africa at the moment, ever since he started back in 2018. We all know Mac G as a former employee of YFM station, and he was fired due to leaving the studio unattended for an hour and other controversial reasons. The man took a decision and his friends to start a YouTube podcasting channel that deals with interviewing famous people in South Africa. Mac G was then saved by YouTube from poverty and he quickly got fame by simply interviewing the coolest celebrities in the country. Today, he is one of the most paid YouTubers in South Africa, if not Africa as a whole continent. It's estimated that he makes roughly about 3.8 million rands annually after deductions, which is very impressive according to the South African website. On other hand, Mac G is allegedly the owner of the alcohol company called The Grandeur Gin, which is a local beverage brand manufactured in Cape Town. This was a great idea but many people are now moving to this alcohol business. And it's kind of boring now. It's not clear on how much he makes per year on his company Grandeur. 
but at least he is making something of it. Lastly, Mac G recently launched another beer cider company called The Chiller Punch, and that's cool because many black people are invest in beverage industry. Maybe Mac G is competing with more fire energy drink, who knows? Let's us not forget that Mac G is also a part-time artist who makes music that has made South Africans recognize him so much. I'm sure you are concerned on how rich he is right now. Well, Mac G is currently worth $1 million this year according to Trend Celeb's website. Personally, I think he is worth more than that but maybe he's being underrated by the media companies in South Africa. About his car collection, the man has been seen with a Mercedes-Benz V-Class. That's one of the most loved vehicles of all time in the world because of its capacity. Well, the price of this car is exactly 1.2 million rands and that's way affordable for a big car like this one. He was also seen with a BMW X3, which is believed to be his car, and the price of that vehicle is 700,000 rands. Mac G doesn't spend money on flashy things, but investing it into business for growth. Because literally, like, I don't give much thought into it, ne? Mm -hmm. It's just about doing dope shit. If I think something is dope, it's like, ah, fuck, let's do it. Okay. You know? So with Chiller's Punch, uh, if you look at the history of, of, of grandeur, uh, me and the lady started it together because okay. we liked gin at the time. Okay. We still do, right? And uh, we just had a son, so we wanted it to be like a legacy project of ours for our son. So that's why we started Grandeur Gin. Okay. Then as the podcast started growing and people started consuming it and, you know, we'd go to gigs and, you know, people would be like, hey, why don't you try this? Why don't you try this? Boom, boom, boom. And with, you know, just the whole thing of like sunbed and everything yeah, that's happened yeah. since we started the podcast, we we're like, why don't we do something for the chillers? Yeah. Not for us because we like gin, but let's let's uh, do some research and find out what do chillers like, you know? Because with um, retail, you can get to see the numbers of if someone buys a grandeur, what else are they buying? Mm. Oh, yeah. You understand what I'm saying? So we looked at uh, the data and then we looked at what else chillers are buying when they buy grandeur. Mm. And we're like, let's make something for the chillers to say thank you. Mm. Uh, and we appreciate the support. So it's, that's why it's called Chillers Punch. It's got nothing to do with me. I don't have my name on it or whatever. It's yeah. just to say thanks to the chillers and it's for the chillers, mm. you know? And, and the cool thing is that next year, uh, just like how we do Fund a Chiller, we, from our membership that we get on YouTube, uh, we help other chillers out there. Okay. Uh, some of the proceeds next year, uh, when we start generating revenue, for Chiller's Punch is gonna go into helping Chiller's, you know. Other well, that's all about Mac G this year and his lifestyle. Just comment down below your thoughts on his investments and businesses. Many people are being left behind because of technology and this new lifestyle of making money at home. The generation will not catch up with the latest system due to traditional beliefs or education. Many influencers and public figures are uneducated, but very wealthy. This proves that life is unfair and it will remain unequal for everyone. If you enjoyed watching this video, please make sure to like and subscribe on Marshall TV channel. Also watch my other videos on the pop on the screen right now.